The H. Council Trenholm Memorial Award is presented to a nominee who works beyond the call of duty to free the education profession from inequities based on race or ethnicity and help improve understanding among racial and ethnic groups. This year's recipient is from the state of Oregon. Hi, I'm Gail Rasmussen, president of the Oregon Education Association. There are a lot of great teachers in Oregon, but even among them, Susan stands out. She gets students to believe in themselves, to have the confidence to succeed, and she's changing lives every day. She's one of Oregon's best, Susan Bartley. In high schools across America, students flock to advanced placement classes, knowing they're a gateway into the college classroom they soon hope to attend. But overwhelmingly, those students are white and affluent. But things are different at Franklin High School in Portland, Oregon, thanks to AP English teacher Susan Bartley. You guys are competing with kids across the country whose parents pay $30,000 a year in high school to send them to school. That you're their competition and they're yours, okay? They are not afraid to shine. Susan understands that you can't have educational equity without giving everyone an equal opportunity to try. I had no clue about what college is like or what that was gonna be like to get there. And um, my family doesn't really have any high school experience. She and her colleagues created the Franklin Advanced Scholars Program designed to prepare her students for college and position them for success. The program is both rigorous and supportive. For today, I just want you to think about how you're doing today, um, what, anything you want to report out to the group, any stress you might have. And everyone is encouraged to participate. Susan is strongly opposed to the common practice of tracking or separating students by educational ability at Franklin. 400 students, nearly a third of the school, are in the Advanced Scholars Program. Being in Miss Bartney's class has definitely helped me become a better writer, learn how to speak up for my beliefs. Many of the students are from low-income or English-as-a-second-language families who had never before considered college as a possibility. This program and the support and encouragement from Miss Bartley have completely changed their lives. I never thought that I would be able to go to a school as like prestigious as Reed. So in Miss Bartley's class and being a part of the Advanced Scholar Program has really got me prepared for that. To further help students succeed, Susan created the College Essay Writing Workshop in conjunction with Literary Arts Portland. The workshop is open to students at several different high schools and utilizes professional mentors from the community to help the students. Springtime in Ms. Bartley's classroom means the end of the college application process. Orange papers list the college acceptances. Purple paper is saved for the big decision. Many different choices, but they all have one thing in common. 100% of the students in the Advanced Scholar Program in the past three years have been accepted to college or community college, with over 90% attending a four-year college. Ms. Bartley is an amazing woman. She has done a lot for everyone. She doesn't care about your background or who you are or what you've done. She just sees the good in you and sees what she can do to help you prosper. Ladies and gentlemen, Susan Bartley. Thank you, NEA, for this incredible honor. Thank you also to the mentor teachers of the Franklin High School Advanced Scholar Program and to the principal, Shay James, for her incredible commitment. I want to thank my husband Pedro, my daughter Simone, and my parents and brother for all their love and support. In an interview, an anonymous Libyan revolutionary remarked, at that moment, we kept one thing in our minds. We thought only of the next generation. 
Everything we did, we did it for them. As a North American teacher, I always remember how not long ago, my own nation stood at the juncture of a civil crisis when ra racism and injustice prevailed in our public system. The civil rights leaders of that era, Dr. King, Reverend Shuttlesworth, H. Council Trenholm, were willing to keep that same thought in mind. Everything I do, I do it for the next generation. We have come so far from the days of biting dogs. We've come so far from the days of lunch counter inequity. We've come so far from the days of U.S. Marshals walking young African American children into schools in order to protect their civil liberties. But my friends, we are not there yet. I accept this award in honor of all children who continue to experience marginalization due to race, class, gender, or sexuality. I accept this award in honor of all educators who continue to fight against injustice in your school communities. I accept this award head bowed to every parent or teacher who has lost a child to the streets of Chicago or to the halls of Sandy Hook. Together, we must redesign our system to engage every child. And we must do so in the name of those who walked this path before us and in honor of those to come. Thank you.